well, would you look at that? <laughs> it's almost to the point where I am myself getting sick of how fucking right I was on this one. There is only so much smug one person can tolerate, and I am pushing those limits. I really, really am. Now, we shan't dwell too much on just how right I was, or how long in advance I told Relic that this was a bad idea. We shall merely leave that with a brief mention. As we move on to the uh, the meat of this particular topic. So, Eurogamer has released an article in which the Dawn of War 3 developers states that they are stopping all support and development of Dawn of War 3. This, if anything, is merely just the public and official statement. They stopped supporting Dawn of War 3 literal months ago. <laughs> I mean... Can you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so I'm sorry, but can you even say that Dawn of War three ever actually received support at all? There was what one balance patch in the game's entire history. The second patch was literally a batch of skins and new hero characters. You know the heroes that everybody and their dead mother complained about being vastly overpowered? Let's face it guys, the head honchos over at Relic watch my videos and they saw this one coming from 17 miles over the horizon. I can pretty much guarantee you that the very same second that the game was kicked screaming out of the door and into the wilderness to starve and die on its very own, the air conditioning in the offices responsible for the game cut off like that, due to Relic no longer paying the electricity bill. Dawn of War 3 is an abomination of a degree we rarely see in computer gaming. It is a franchise killer. It is a stinker so ferocious, it is not only set to murder the Dawn of War 3 franchise, it very well might have its stinky little boots on Relix's very own necks. As the studio, famous for Company of Heroes and Dawn of War and Homeworld, is now developing Age of Empires 4. And don't get me wrong, the Age of Empires franchise was a good franchise, but it has absolutely nothing to do in Relics' offices. It is a traditional strategy game and should be developed by a traditional strategy studios. I don't think Relic fans are particularly happy about Relic working of Age of Empires 4, and I don't think Age of Empires fans are particularly happy with Relic working on Age of Empires 4. This is a lose-lose scenario of the purest kind. If Relic goes back to its roots and innovates in the Age of Empires franchise, it will turn off Age of Empires' very own fans. If it doesn't innovate, then Relic's own fanbase will turn their nose up at it and simply deliver it onto them a fully justified middle finger while taking their cash somewhere else. Relic is right now literally in the position where they have to bat Age of Empires 4 so far out of the park it begins orbiting the globe. Anything short of a practical revolution to the strategy franchise that still manages to please the traditionalists will not suffice. To put it very, very bluntly, if I was working at Relic, I would be tending to my resume. And that is sad. That is genuinely tragic. Because the death of Dawn of War 3 as we know it, the death of the franchise very, very possibly, is a tragedy. It is a crime. And it was so utterly preventable. From what I've heard, the guys developing it, the designers, they didn't give a shit about the franchise. They didn't give a 
flying fuck about 40k. They barely even knew what it was. And you can tell. From the various designer interviews, you can tell they hadn't the faintest bloody clue what made Dawn of War Dawn of War, and I don't think they cared. They shat all over a franchise we knew and loved and wiped their ass with the corpse by refusing to even attempt to fix it. You cannot show any more disgust and disdain Dain for a player base than Relic has in the case of Dawn of War 3. They knew from the very word go that they were not making a Dawn of War game. They had no intentions of making a Dawn of War game. Hell, they didn't have even an intention of making a strategy game, as they themselves apparently referred to it as an RTS MOBA hybrid. They plastered the name of Dawn of War 3 on the box for absolutely no other reason than to trick people and prey upon their loyalty to purchase the game. And when people did purchase the game, they got not only a piece of shit game, but zero support. One balance patch and a skin pack. Whew. And this, this really, really gets me fired up. I cannot find words harsh enough to describe Relic's behavior in this case. I literally cannot. There is not a word in the English language that contains enough vitriol, enough disdain, enough of a warning for the future to adequately represent my feelings on this matter. And just as if I wasn't quite pissed off enough, as if Relic thought that maybe just maybe the fanbase wasn't quite as irate as they possibly could be. What is this statement? What is the statement they give us, huh? Whilst Dawn of War 3 has a dedicated player base, it didn't hit the targets we were expecting at launch, and it hasn't performed the way we had hoped since. It's been tough for us as professionals who want to make a great game for our players, and for us as people who care a lot about what we do. Motherfuckers. Okay, one, you fuckers don't give a shit about this franchise. That has been well and truly established. You are not saddened by this. It's not tough for you because you tried to make a great game. The players just didn't appreciate it. No, you made a pile of steaming dog shit. And unless you can fucking take respons- I'm not- I'm not gonna start. I'm not gonna start. I'm not gonna start launching into- the sheer deluge of vitriol I would like to. I'm just gonna take a step back and say this. No relic. Your game didn't meet the standards you were expecting because you tried to make a great game and it simply wasn't appreciated by the player base. Your fans are not at wrong in this. You did not deliver a Dawn of War game, and yet you slapped Dawn of War on their product. You delivered us one of the biggest stinkers in RTS history, and to do so, you had to drag the name of a venerable and much-loved franchise through the dirt to do so, to inkle out the mere pittance of sales you actually received. You had to shit all over us, and now you dare to fucking sit there and say it's been tough for you that the game didn't meet the expectations that you had for it. Fuck you very much indeed. Relic. 
When I was talking about this game dying months ago, literally weeks after launch, it was already basically dead, a rotting corpse on the side of the road, I told you, Relic, if you're gonna have any hope in everlasting hell of ever winning back your player base, you needed to apologize for Dawn of War 3. You needed to get down on your knees and beg the player base's forgiveness for literally shitting all over them without so much as a hint of remorse. And instead, it's been tough for you because you want to make the great games. Oh, relic, 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 relic. In the strongest possible language, I urge you to reevaluate your stance on this. Because I'll tell you this much the fans you shat on are not going to be so forgiving the next time you ask them for their money. Because again, let me restate your game did not, as you said, underperform. It bombed. And if you think you can get away with the same tactics you used in Dawn of War 3, you are sadly mistaken. Now I am fully aware that I am well and truly on Relic's shit list and I'm not going to be getting off it after this video anytime soon, but I would really genuinely suggest Relic you seek out any and all forms of criticism and feature it heavily. You need to be humble with this one. You cannot release statements like the one you've released here, which takes absolutely no responsibility whatsoever and essentially just shifts the responsibility entirely over onto the customer and expect the customer to fucking buy your product. It should be pretty basic fucking business. Right, we'll... Wrap it up there. I've, I've said what I wanted to say. I've gotten a little bit off my chest. I got a bit more emotional there near the end than I really reckoned I would. It's just mm, the complete and utter dodge of any and all responsibility. Ooh, that kind of shit triggers me timbers nice and properly it does. Anyways, to finish it off, I hope this doesn't kill Relic. I think it might. I genuinely think it might. I hope it doesn't kill Dawn of War, although I am literally staring at the corpse of Dawn of War at the moment. I hope this isn't the death of Relic and this beloved franchise. I think they need to radically reevaluate their approach to their customers. I think they need to radically reevaluate how they communicate about their products in the future. And I think they need to take a long and hard look at their own studio staff before they think of producing anything else like this. Sp especially the designers. I lay the blame fully and entirely upon the designers for Dawn of War 3. The guys coding the game, they did excellently. Dawn of War 3 ran well, it had zero performance issues, it barely ever crashed, there were little to no bugs. The game, from a game standpoint, from a purely mechanical standpoint, was excellent. These guys have none of the blame. The texture workers, the 3D modelers, they simply did as they were told and they did a damn good job with what they were given. But the designers, the developers themselves, screwed the pooch on this one so utterly thoroughly that that poor and scarred pooch is currently living in an abused spouse's shelter and is unlikely to be moving back home any time soon. This statement was not at all what I was looking for from Relic. I was looking for a, basically an apology and a very humble tone saying, we can't afford to continue developing Dawn of War 3. We are sorry. We have realized we fucked up on this. We have to move on to save the company. We apologize unreservedly. That is not what we got and that 
makes me very, very worried for future projects. Because I know you said I was done, but if they really think they can get away with this kind of haughty, better than the player base attitude after Dawn of War 3. Oh, Relic. You have absolutely no clue how your player base functions. And before I go on another rant, I have been Arch. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you all again soon. Have a good day.